Good morning, you guys. Today it is Wednesday, December the 8th. I picked up the vlog camera since freaking Saturday because I have been too busy trying to upload yesterday, uh, the Saturday's vlog from last week. But don't worry, you guys are still going to get your two vlogs this week. Today, while you're seeing this, well, not today, but to, you know, tomorrow when you see this, Thursday and Saturday, you know, I'm going to stick to that, okay? It was just Saturday. But um, if you guys haven't seen it, make sure you go and watch that one and make sure you go watch episode six too. Um, I'm gonna get my baby up because he's been sleeping and get the day started. Pip. Milo. 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 Oh shit. Oh baby. Don't scare mommy like that. Sorry. Scare mommy. Why you not answer mommy? Huh? Good morning, but <laughs> Good morning, baby. <laughs> mommy, sorry. <laughs> you got a scare, mommy. There, oh, you smell. You got poopy all over you. We got to change your diety, okay? Okay. Okay, sweet face. Okay, sweet face. <laughs> okay, we finna change your diaper, okay? So, um, I got my phone door dashing. Um, I didn't bring my camera because I didn't really think about it until I left the house at this light. Um, but yeah, I wish people would learn how to put their blinkers on, like for real. Seriously. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to DoorDash a little bit and I'm going to see if I can hit up Walmart or Days or whatever and see if I can find some gingerbread houses because, um, I asked babe if he wanted to um if he wanted to do the gingerbread house challenge with me or whatever because like it looks so it looked like so much fun like watching uh Aaliyah and um watching Aaliyah and Menelik do it on their channel or whatever. Um so I was like, ooh, that look like fun. I should do that because I've never done the gingerbread um, house for any season. I wanted to do it so bad, like last year before my sis, um, before my sister left uh, Georgia, but it didn't happen. So I am getting me some McDonald's now. I know I don't know if it's ever been caught on video, but for the people that really know me, they know that I I never. Eat and Mac I have not eaten McDonald's since I was a child because I will not eat their food. It's inedible. Most of their food is inedible. But since I've gotten up here to Ohio, like nobody sells like really good fries. Like like really, really good, good, like crisp fries. Like Wendy's was selling them at first like really good when I first got up here and it was really good but then they started being like grainy and fuzzy I like a nice smooth crisp french fry with no salt on it like new way for all of the everybody that's up in Georgia no no new way new way has some of the best fries Arby's has some really good fries too but I don't like crinkle cut it's like the texture of it like the, they taste different I don't know how to like describe it but since I've been up here in Cleveland, McDonald's has the best freaking fries, like, I've ever tasted. And they got a good muffin, too. But I like the apple fritters, too. Like, I just have become a whole new person since I've been up here. Okay, <sighs> $8 for a large fry, two bottles of water, and an apple fritter. They barbecue sauce be tasting nasty. It be tasting water down. Me low sleep. Me knocked out. I don't know what it is about that coat, but that coat, like, I guess because it's, like, very insulated and stuff, it just kind of knocked him out. 
Oh, Lord, my, my leg hurt. Oh, so I really wanted to talk to y'all about, uh, really wanted to talk to y'all about, I had a pregnancy scare, like, ooh, I had a pregnancy scare, like, oh my gosh. Yes, ma'am. My fries fresh now, ain't it? Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Look. Look. Yes, I am one of those customers. I don't care how small amount I pay for some food. I expect it to be fresh. All right, we need to drive back in that land. minutes why don't, don't they have an option where where they can bring fucking like, food out when it comes to DoorDash like Wendy's like y'all don't have the lobby open but when it comes to DoorDashers we have to wait through the line and sometimes we have to wait through wait in the damn line for over freaking 15 minutes I've been sitting here for an hour and 30 damn minutes they act like they don't have no customer services they ain't on big lipped mother sucker opening up this dang on door mouth wide open. I hate when folks got big ass lips and their mouth stay open like this. Just sitting up here licking like a big old gorilla. Don't say nothing. Sha ace me. Oh bitch, I'm fit to cha ice you. I'm fit to cha ice you. <laughs> Are you serious? You got a poop explosion too? Huh? Milo. All right. I don't think he's gonna like it because I don't quite like it, but it needed to be done. And my curls have come back a little bit more on that side. Um, I'm probably just gonna wrap it in. <laughs> Just uh, probably not show it to him right now. It's like, that's a lot of potatoes. <laughs> it is a lot. It's a, it's a whole lot. It's gonna be good. Eat it. Be good. They don't look creamy. They look chunky. Mmm. Delicious. Mm, del Delicioso. <laughs> <laughs> they look chunky as hell. <laughs> very shitty, <laughs> very shitty MySpace picture. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> it's giving. It's giving MySpace, right? Not MySpace. Did I say it right? MySpace. Did I say it's giving right? Mm -hmm, I guess. <laughs> but I kind of just wanted to talk to y'all, like for real. Um, remember, I was talking about doing a gingerbread house thing or whatever and stuff. Um, well, I asked Dakota, and he said that he would before, but I asked him again today if he wanted to do it this weekend or whatever, and he was like, um, yeah, unless you got plans. So he was like, yeah. Um, he was like, yeah. Basically, he said, yeah, I just I got some plans later on or whatever. So I was like, oh, well, um, well, never mind then. Um, and then I guess he got confused. And like, so he called me, and basically... I was hella emotional. I was trying not to be emotional, but it's like, you know, never mind because, you know, it might seem petty to a lot of people that don't know the dynamic of our relationship, but Saturday is normally, Saturday is normally, um, we take the kids 
to Nona's house, which is grandmother, uh, to Nona's house for Saturday. And normally Dakota and I, you know, um, do something on Saturday. Like that's those are our days. Those are our date days or whatever. And it just hear, hearing him say that he he had plans later on. I'm just like you didn't you don't you don't have plans with me. You don't have plans with the kids because who the fuck makes plans with kids at night on Saturday? Like later on, like no, like I don't know if I'm assuming or whatever, but get my feelings hurt even more than what they already are um I don't know what the fuck I'm sad for because this is exactly what the hell I wanted this is what I wanted like you know I wanted space um time for myself so I'm not really sure why I'm so bothered by it but maybe I guess I'm bothered by it because it's kind of like just still it's still kind of hitting me a little bit you know it's still kind of hitting me a little bit. Um, what? So now you're making plans on days that we made, used to make plans on. So it makes me feel salty. So it's just like, okay, well, I just don't want to do anything with you at all. Like, I just don't want to do anything with you at all. And he can't understand that. And it's not for him to understand. So I was just like, you know what? Never mind. Just forget it. Um, just forget it. Uh, because I was like, you know, we're not together anyway, so just forget it. And he's like, I'm not going to forget it because it's important to me. Like, how the fuck is it important to you? Like, how the fuck is it important to you? It's not important to you. It's not, it's not important to you at all. I'm the one that came up with it. It's not important to you because if it was important to you, you would have asked me are we still doing the gingerbread houses? No, I asked you. So it's not important to you. It's probably important to you because I'm emotional about the shit and you've been trying to get in my fucking head since Friday. And I just don't feel like I should be trying to be vulnerable anymore. And it's just, why the fuck put myself out there? You know, I'm tired of putting myself out there. And I don't know, like, I honestly don't know how to move. You know, I don't know how to move with him. So the only thing that I can do is just forget him, you know. Um, and it's going to be kind of difficult because we live together. Um, but I am working on getting my own place. Um, believe and trust that I have no more excuses, no more comfort you know, no more, none of that. I have to act like that. I have absolutely nobody. I have to act like I have absolutely nobody. So I don't have that level of comfort. My baby boy, my baby boy, he tired. Him sleepy. Him sleepy. Ooh, okay. Pip. 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 Milo. Milo. Okay. So I am back home editing the vlog that you guys are seeing right now. Um, just needed to uh, make the outro. <laughs> But um, I'm going to let Milo close the vlog out for you guys. I am a very, very awful person when it comes to starting up the vlog and closing it out. I suck. So um, we're going to let Milo close it out for today. Okay? Um, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys follow us on both of our social medias. Uh, make sure that you guys are interacting with us and all that great stuff. What do you got in your mouth? Bye. Uh oh Say bye-bye. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.
That'll do, baby. <laughs>